pretty sure the vlog probably left off with like a pecan waffle. Everything was all good. Like last night I came home, was really excited because me and Ern had talked about ordering the Sony a7 III for Japan. We've been talking about getting the a7 for forever, but we were waiting on the S and then I heard the S isn't coming out. The new S isn't coming out for like till 2020. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just get this thing just so that Japan can visually look different and it'll be cool. You know, it'll be fun. <clears throat> It'll be a new camera. It'll be make the vlogs better. This is our whole thing. I couldn't even really sleep because I was just excited about getting shit. And I ordered it on Amazon. And a lot of it even showed up today. Most of it gets here. I think everything will be here by Tuesday. Um, a bunch of lenses. Like, really grateful and blessed. But then I woke up this morning and I checked Twitter. The first thing that I really saw was a message from this kid Adam who is a fan of the channel. The clothing brand. Uh, he's been around for a while. I'd say like the last year. But... Heavy on Twitter, my Twitch community is really small. Most, probably 30, 40 people. The people that are there like every time. And then I play with maybe about six people. Adam is one of those people that I play games with, the person that I talk to on Twitter pretty often. And he's a person who supports my brand. He's part of the friends and family. He's solid, solid bro. The last few days or whatever, there's been a lot of business talk and us trying to elevate our personal lives. I spend time talking to people every single day about all kinds of things. It's super clear too, because this has been a awful day of trying to figure out how to talk about this and be very clear that this is not about me at all. Try to, I don't want this to come off to be about me because it's not. I'm, Adam has cystic fiber. Adam had cystic fiber. I can't say this fucking shit. Adam? I guess I can't say it because it's not the fucking truth. And I can't say it because it doesn't sound right. What I really haven't said yet is that Adam passed away on Wednesday. I didn't know this. I had no idea. I, I don't talk to him every day. Or he's definitely um, in this community on Twitter heavy. A lot of people who watch the vlog know who he is. You're in this little... I don't know what to call it. Not, it. There's just like certain people that are on Twitter a lot and see almost everything. Adam is one of those people. And on Wednesday, we lost him and it fucking sucks. It, I, I, I don't think that I've ever been to a point where I've, I mean, I've been saddened by people passing away that I don't have like a personal, like real life next to me relationship. Like we've spent real time together. I, you know, I try to put them on different mindsets and try to put them on to things like Alan Watt, Terrence McKenna, and just kind of thinking outside of the realm of your body and life. And man, fuck, like, and today I got a message from what I thought was him and it was his mom and it just said Adam passed. He posted a picture that he was back in the hospital but he was kind of in and out a lot for checkups and sometimes he'd have to stay if he was feeling super weak. His mom said that it just happened, it happened so fast, you know, that he was in a lot of pain. It just, very quickly, he was gone, so. This woman who lost her son and this connection that is shoes and this whole world like YouTube and sneakers and traveling and life and that's shit we deal with and talk about and even down to the art that I make and communication I have with you guys and what certain people take away from the vlog it just it just fucking sucks like it bums me out to know that he's not gonna see this it bums me out to know that today is probably the day that he got the most likes not that, that shit matters I know that he knows that people like interact with him but you know what I mean it's like I don't know it's like it's like do you I almost I hope that I hope that in those last I hope in his last moments he knows that we all like I hope he knows that we I hope leaving earth I hope leaving that Adam knows that we cared so many people get a fucking raw deal it just seems so unbalanced but at least for us who are living we don't know what happens when you die when i'm not grieving sad i can look at death in a very uni universe wave star dust type of way but uh it's still like it's a person and it's sad and this shit moves so fast with the internet too it's you mourn somebody real quick his mom's not gonna be real quick his mom this is his mom's life now so i think the only word i have for it is sad it just makes me fucking sad like i just i wish that he had beat this i wish that he's still here i wish there was some way to tell him like i wish that i had known i didn't even know that he had gone really to the hospital so much shit was going on and i hadn't been on twitch so i hadn't talked to him in a couple of days order is a godzilla order you know like <laughs> sobering 
as fuck. Being excited about all these future plans and this, that, and a third. It's just like, ah, it's just a fucking reminder, man. A reminder to tell people that you love them. A reminder to live your fucking life as best to your ability every day. Uh, waste no time. All Adam wanted to do was not waste time. You know, you read through his tweet. All he wanted to do was go back and he did graffiti. He wanted to go paint. All he wanted to do was go back to when he felt good. Super close or not, it's effective. Like, this person is a huge fan of me. And Alex brought up a great point today and said, you know, everyone else in your life cast judgment on you. They love you and they support you, but a lot of people cast judgment on you. These people who are really big fans of you, who you can do no wrong to, have never done that. And, and she's right And losing something. That's not something that is normal for life. You don't get a lot of people in your life who see what you see and support what you want, accepts you at all costs. And Adam did that shit with me no matter what. He didn't agree with me all the time. He was just a fucking cool dude and he was a friend. Me and Irm were planning to go there. He really wanted a swirly dragon. I just feel like I need to talk about it because this is what's happening. And I I wanted to sit down and edit today and I just like, I was like, I don't want to fucking do this. Like I can't edit this today. I can't edit this tonight. There's no fucking way. It just feels it was like I'm moving past it too quickly or something if I, if I do all this right now. I was gonna try and go to the funeral, but I can't because one, flights to West Virginia right now because it's a week before, two weeks before Christmas. Uh, I just like, with everything going on, I can't do it. I would love to be there for his mother. I would, I would absolutely love to be. Uh, I just can't. Me and her have been talking. Uh, oddly enough, I don't know what the word, the correct word to describe is it. Me and Adam have the same birthday, not the same year. He's much younger than me, but we both have a birthday on May 6th. His favorite brand of mine was Happy Cry, so I'm gonna, I offered to do a shirt get the proceeds and give it to the family to help with any kind of funeral costs. She so far has refused, but we'll we'll figure that out. Figure out a way to honor Adam with this. Like this is the whole point. And that is, I think that's what she wants. I know that's what I want. Um, cystic fibrosis is a big deal. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm someone who rallies for all, there's all kinds of diseases that are a big deal. I tweeted the other day that there's always gonna be a cause. You just gotta do what you can when you can. Every, I think every disease is terrible, obviously. Any kind of loss of life is not good. So I'm not, I don't wanna act like I knew much about cystic fibrosis before meeting Adam, that I've been doing any work other than directly dealing with him. I, I have not. Talking with his mother who she wanted me to do some sort of specific shirt for her, but she also wants me to come and do the swirly dragon. I'm absolutely gonna do, I'm literally taking the next number, 117. So Adam is swirly gang member number 117. So that dragon won't get done and then um, until his mom gets it. Yeah, so. Funeral is Monday. Uh, if anyone wants information, I will put the information in the description. If you would like to send condolences to the family, anything like that, I'm sure that they would appreciate it. A couple ideas for stuff to do to honor Adam's life. Quite a few people on Twitter have reached out to, you know, basically ask me if I would do something for it. So uh, I just want to be clear that this is the embodiment of happy cry, the people who don't know. It's kind of just like smiling through the pain. And also when you get to a point where you're laughing and crying at the same time because some things are just you've gone through so much to get where you are just the sort of embodiment of of life you know like the yin and yang of life like it's smile you want you know like you should smile you definitely should smile you're also gonna cry and it's just a part of it i think that he loved that brand so much because that's exactly who he was always smiling the shit that he had to face was beyond what most of us have to face beyond what i have to face i was telling alex today i feel so guilty for being healthy and being able to do all the shit that i get to do taking it for fucking granted and of course there's recordings of me complaining about life i'm guilty of it too and this is like always sober and reminding it hits so close to home so fucking young it's so close to the holidays it's just, at the same time, Adam, he's not in pain anymore. You know, and his mom said he was in pain. He said he was in pain. He would tell me that he was scared, just so terrified and so scared. And that's, that's gone, you know, and at least that's gone. And I, I think that that is a, a happy cry moment. And I think that there's some way for me to represent him through art somehow. I, I don't know how yet. Yeah, I have a few ideas, but I, I can't sit here and be like, oh, I got ideas. Uh, and, I, and it'll come as it comes. We lost a light, man. Like... We just did, you know, and it fucking sucks. I, I don't know, like, I, all I can do from this point is know, is know that I knew Adam as a human being on Earth. He's a friend of mine. I met him through YouTube, which is something that is like a new thing, you know, like, in my lifetime, not used to making friends via the internet who become 
like real solid friends that you don't see all the time, but that that that's happened. Rest in peace, Adam Pennington. You will be missed. You're loved. I hope that we can do something to honor your life forever. We're going to miss you, man. Peace.